UK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and this player starts their round in the lead. How should they approach today? Well, they've they've got the lead, and there is a significant chasing pack, so they can't get too wrapped up in what's going on behind them. They've got to kind of keep their nose out front. They got to keep pushing along, and play the golf course. Don't think about who's chasing you down. Just think about playing the golf course. But if you do find themselves falling back a little bit, then they need to go ahead and start making a, a little bit different push, maybe come up with a different game plan. But right now, out in front, they just kind of have to play the golf course right now and, and keep that in their sights. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. That was wonderfully done. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 175 yards. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. It was on a good line. Big putt for par coming up. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. And now that finds him in first place. Time to tee off at the second. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That was a beauty. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for Birdie here. And man on the ground. John, he's down there. What's the news? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the fourth. Oh, great shot. Holes out for a Birdie. What a play from the rough was hoping to get on the green and does one better. Next up is this par four hole. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side, you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Second shot here on the third. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Needs this to kick a bit left. What a skillful approach shot. This player not holding back in their rivalry with Lydia Ko. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Currently in first position. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Time for the second shot here at the four.
And here we are with the third shot. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Judging it beautifully. That's making a big statement here today. Trying to make a statement early and often. That impressed me and her. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. We have a par four on this one. Not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Not the best tee shot, but they got lucky with this lie. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. Just the start they were looking for, Luke. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Yes, they've made it. Nothing like it. Good stuff. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Time to tee off at the sixth. Already in control of this tournament, looking to extend that lead on this short hole. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. He's found the surface. Good chance here. 19 feet to the hole. A chance to get two back on the course here. This one for Eagle. Oh, they're going to walk this one in. Oh, what an excellent time to make a big putt like that. And you bet their rival knows just what happened. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Here we have it. Try to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here at the seventh. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Here's Lydia Ko. Big time play that one at the right time too. Oh, went from the outhouse to the penthouse with that chip in. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Now that's how you roll the rock. And that will drop in for a birdie. Still in the lead now after that hole.
looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera's pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. Playing from around 160 yards. Going with the eight iron here. Yeah, that one's looking good. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Birdie at the last. This for another. for a par now and down it goes let's head to the next he's currently sitting in first place this hole is a long par four Great shot. And what are we looking at here, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one is chewing fiber. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 11th. Lining up the birdie putt here. Mark it down, that's six birdies today. Well, Rich, as we make the turn to the back nine, what are your thoughts so far? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Taking off now on the 10th hole. Players have looked at this hole differently over the years. It used to be just a layup shy of that bunker down the right-hand side. But with a favorable win, we're seeing a lot more players take out driver and take it over that bunker, leaving a very short second to a green that is slightly elevated. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? And from about 105 yards. That a boy, good shot. Seven feet to the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. And with that part hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. John, you're down there. What's happening? Hey, guys, we are checking in with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 12th. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Taking it up on the 11th hole here. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Playing this one 
about 130 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. A little off the mark on that approach shot. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And he needs this to save par. This one's tracking. Yeah, good job. Nice par. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. We have a par five on this one. Oh, well played. Time for the second shot at the 12. Oh, I love this type of carriage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Butting for birdie. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This hole is a par four. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on their 13th hole. Needs this one to kick right. And he's hit that inside the range. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Okay, steady now. Just a short putt remaining here. He sits in first position. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Got to like their chances from there. This looks good. 
That's inside the range. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. That was a little untidy, wasn't it? That makes its way to the first cut. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Yeah, this is lovely. That's a good looking shot there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. This is about 24 feet for him here. This for a birdie birdie run. This is on a stupendous line. That's a fine effort, that one. You always want to putt those ones stone dead. And now that finds him in first place. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Oh, stop it. What a shot. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Oh, what a stroke. Well, how good's that for the Eagle? Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee coming off the Eagle. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole in the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. Time for the second shot at the 17th. How good is that? That's incredible. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Beautifully judged. Great tempo on this chip. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that.
Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the A-Team. It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls land, so players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the seven. That dog will hunt. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? I've been all around this, tried to read it, just can't see it, but he's got about 22 feet. Big chance here. Around now in the books. Good luck next time. 